Welcome to Nassau Bahamas Cruise Port, the busiest transit port in the world and your gateway to paradise. Cruise port is the cruising gateway to the historic, vibrant city of Nassau, Bahamas. The Nassau cruise port is bursting with ships from all over the world. Are you ready to explore? The possibilities are endless. Which ship are you boarding? Your adventure starts here. Nassau spent $300 million upgrading their cruise port just for you with the first phase of this redevelopment opened May of 2023. The port is now able to accommodate up to six cruise ships per day, including three Oasis or Icon class ships. Let's go. Let's take a look at this beautiful, beautiful cruise port. As you exit the berth area of your ship, you will see the Museum of Junkano, which is an immersive experience that aims to share the story of the National Cultural Festival. You will also have the convenience of a dedicated taxi stand. This makes catching a cab to Atlantis, Cable Beach or Bahamar much simpler. There is also an information booth within the port. In addition, if you need to book excursions, there is also a designated area specifically for those who would like to book their day excursions, and I will encourage you to do so. Get out there, go out into this vibrant city, and enjoy NASA.
I know many of you are wondering, is it safe to leave the port or is Nassau a safe destination? I can only tell you this, overall, the Nassau cruise port and Nassau itself is a safe destination with a strong emphasis on tourist safety. However, it is still essential for visitors to be vigilant and take standard travel precautions to avoid petty crimes and ensure a pleasant experience. In addition, for your safety, there is a strong police presence at the Nassau Cruise Port as well as Bay Street and the surrounding areas. So fear not, you will be safe. Now you are ready to leave the port and you are wondering, should I bring cash or a credit card? The straw market accepts a cash only, but the stores on Bay Street, most of them accept all major credit cards. If you need to access cash though, there is a bank on Bay Street and it has an ATM machine. The name of the bank is Scotia Bank. It is coming up right now, right here at the square. Please remember that the Bahamian dollar is equal to the US dollar, so you can use your US currency, but always get your change in US currency. Enjoy your duty-free shopping. This is a great historic site near the cruise port. This site is called Parliament Square, which houses the Bahamian House of Assembly, the Senate Building, the Supreme Court in a pink pastel colonial building. A statue of Queen Victoria is erected in the early 1900s, also stands at this site. It is beautiful. Here is the statue of Queen Victoria. And this historic site is extremely close to the cruise port.
Other notable historic sites in walking distance from the port would be the government house. If you are lucky, you will see the changing of the guards, also the Queen's Staircase and Fort Finn Castle. The Queen's Staircase was named after Queen Victoria who abolished slavery in the Bahamas. Bahamian culture was also shaped by Africans who arrived in the territory as slaves. If you are not interested in any of these historic tours, then there are several other excursions that may interest you. First, you can escape to Blue Lagoon Island, escape to the tranquil Blue Lagoon, and indulge in a day of relaxation and adventure where you will swim with the dolphins and the sharks, if that is something you are interested in. There is also Pearl Island for snorkeling. There is swimming with the pigs on Rose Island. That is something fun to do. If you have kids, you can also take the kids to Adastra Gardens and Zoo to see the marching flamingos. They are beautiful and it's close to the, the cruise port. If you're interested in ATV rentals, those are available just outside of your cruise port. As you already know, there is no shortage of great beaches in and around Nassau, but your closest beach will be Jonkuna Beach, only 15 minutes walk from your cruise port. Just take a right as you exit the cruise port, walk along the waterfront, around the bend, past a few hotels, and there you will see the John Kunu Beach. There are other notable beaches that I love, and one of them will be Cabbage Beach. Cabbage Beach is located on Paradise Island. You can take a ferry boat for only $7.50 from the cruise port to Paradise Island. There is another beach out uh, in Cable Beach and it is called Love Beach. You can take a number 10 bus from downtown Nassau to Love Beach. The cost though will be $5 for Love Beach. After all that shopping and excursions, it is time to head back to the ship before they leave. But wait, I have at least one hour before my ship leave. I think I can spare 30 minutes to walk through this pavilion, to eat some Bahamian food, and perhaps pick up a few more souvenirs before I leave Nassau. Also, I think I would like to get my hair braided. Do I have enough time for that? Let's see. Guys, I had so much fun on those excursions. 
I think I am a bit twisted right now, but the fun is not over. Let's have a good time in this pavilion.
Okay, thank you. So yeah, if you're in Nassau, please visit this store. Look at this swimsuit. This is so nice. Nice quality stuff too. Very island friendly. Oh my goodness. These are like, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Leather bags too. Gorgeous. Pretty things. I'm so sorry, lady. Look at this dress, guys. Really, really nice. I just still have a comfortable one piece bathing suit yet. Like, I can't. Because is, other people have a lot of It's nice, similar to what I'm wearing. I'm done. Yeah. I'm <laughs> similar to that. Really, really nice. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at these. And the feel. The feel is so soft. And I don't want the long sleeve. So soft. Anything you want to go with it? No? The shirt's at 38.50 and the front's at 42.90. And they have the caps as well. Nice. Uh, oh, my necklace and I can't even remember where I bought this. You know, I bought this in Zara in the States, right? It looked like something I would buy in the Bahamas, right? Yeah, when I saw it, I'm like, this reminds me of the Caribbean. Let me get this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, very nice. yeah starfish. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Very pretty things Thank in your you. store. Say hello to my fans. Hi. <laughs> What an amazing day it was an absolute pleasure showing you around the new 300 million dollar port in nassau bahamas and discussing places that you can go to do your sightseeing and your excursion in nassau and paradise island i will dive deeper into paradise island in another video for now i am starving so let's go get something to eat i am going to my favorite bahamian authentic bahamian uh, restaurant to have some crack conk the name of the restaurant is called bamboo shack here we go the one thing though if you're in a hurry please it takes a while for you to be served because everything is freshly made to go so be mindful of that if you are in a hurry okay please note that all the stores in this plaza there it's it's authentic bahamian um merchandise authentic bahamian food and you know that's one of the things when they design this uh, little plaza they wanted to make sure that they're giving you the bahamian experience okay i hope you enjoy my video i have a few tips at the end um that i am heading back home now i actually did this walk this walk through video just for you i am not on a cruise <laughs> but i have a few tips for you as i head back home to so watch this video to the end
My wonderful people, here are a few bonus tips. If you are trying to get to Paradise Island, you can take the ferry taxi, the water taxi, the ferry boat, whatever they call it, um, from the dock across, from the cruise ships, and take that on a scenic, scenic sailing, sailing experience to Paradise Island. It is a lot less expensive than taking a cab. There are also other excursions out here where you take the boat out here for the booze cruise, sailing, and swimming with the pigs um, on an island directly across from where your cruise ships are. I am not familiar with this tour so please be mindful when you are purchasing tours you know on the streets it's a lot cheaper with but also with less expense sometimes there are risk hi how are you how much to swim with the pigs swimming the pig uh, 100 huh 100 one hundred and yes. which island does it go to? In the drains, in the water. Yeah, but but, but but I know where do they go? Where does the boat go? Which island is it? Pearl Island? Is it Rose Island? Which uh, island? No. Oh. Oh, it's over there. Just yes, oh, oh, there. it's yes. just across there. Yes. That's why it's so cheap. Oh, yes. and only pigs they have there. What else do they have there? Pigs, snorkel, and turtle. And turtle. And it's one hundred dollars. And how long do they go for? Uh, well, one and two hours tour. One and two hours. Okay, yes. thank you. You're yeah, guys. So if you come to the Bahamas, you can do a swim with the pigs, and it's on the island over there that you're looking at. $100. Turtles. Um, you can snorkel with, um, what is that? Dolphins? Yes. Yeah. And the pig. Okay? Yes. Thank you. Bye. Bye. This young lady, as you can tell, does not speak English. I had difficulty understanding her. As I said, just be mindful how you purchase, um, you know, these tours on the streets. They are less expensive, but you don't know what you're going to get when you get to the island. Um, there are a lot of Cubans and Dominicans in Nassau, and so I'm thinking she's either one of those. Also, there are Haitians. There are lots of Haitians and they speak Creole. The native language of the Bahamas is the Queen's English. Okay, so if you hear someone speaking Creole, they are not Bahamian descent. The Bahamians speak with a strong accent. So sometimes you have to listen keenly to understand what they are saying. Just be patient. The restaurants are further away from the cruise ships are less expensive. So if you want to eat Bahamian food, you can venture out to these restaurants. Black owned business. Oh, all right, I'll come and check you guys out. Yes, all right, you, are you open every night? Yes, ma'am. We open from 10 to 10. 10 to 10. And what is your name? My name? Is, uh -huh. They call me Tall Boy. My real name is Kadeem. So this is Tall Boy. Tall Boy is the reason I ate here. Yeah. Really? Yes. You enjoyed it, right? You yes. told me that it's ba great Bahamian food. It's fucking delicious. So yeah. tell the world so they can come here. The, the world, world. It's, it's delicious. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, I'll bring my friends and I'll come yes, by, okay? Come All right, Paul, boy, thank you. you enjoy your stay. Honey. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Yes, for my cruise ship passengers, that was a native restaurant, a Bahamian restaurant. If you would like to taste a piece of the Bahamas, right next to Senior Frogs is that Bahamian restaurant. But something I forgot to mention earlier Oh my goodness, how can I forget the fish fry? Right below the John Kuna Beach is the fish fry. It is in a short walking distance or you can take a taxi. Um, you can have seafood any way you want it. So if you love seafood, please don't forget to check out the world famous Nassau Bahamas fish fry. Thank you for watching my videos. 
and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button to my subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch me i love you guys so much i hope everyone new and old enjoy this tour of the cruise port and it was well worth it for me because it was also my first time experiencing the cruise port until next time bye